So for the eighth day of Christmas, we have something which could be really sad, but is actually chemically quite exciting. This was a present from my colleague Pete Lysens, who is director of our new carbon neutral laboratories, which are being built. One of the first wooden chemical laboratories to be built anywhere in the world. And some of you may know that the first time when it was half built, the building caught fire and burnt to the ground. And what this is, is a slice from one of the beams that wasn't completely burnt away. So you can see it's charred on the outside. It's got charcoal carbon, but the middle is okay. But it's actually the carbon that is really interesting. We have colleagues here in the School of Chemistry who are specialists in carbon, and they have put this carbon under an electron microscope, and the structure of the carbon is what are called nano-onion skin. So you have layers and layers of carbon, and chemically these are very interesting. You can make catalysts out of them. So they're going to use this. They're going to publish a paper on it from the burnt building. And I'm really keen to see what the experimental section is going to look like. First burn your building. I'm pleased to say the building is up and much further advanced than before the fire. And so you'll be seeing a video about its opening sometime in the summer. But for now, for the eighth day of Christmas, we have a piece of charred wood, a fan from the fan, anthracite, element six, a glowing guitar plectrum, four drinking receptacles, three chemical badges, two periodic table bed covers, and a piece of tartaric acid from a Swiss wine barrel. What is day nine going to bring? Wishes of goodwill over the last few days. After the 20 million pound building was completely destroyed by fire. Most of you by now have probably heard that there was a huge fire in Nottingham on the evening of September the 12th, which completely destroyed the new chemistry building